And now, Mark, you've got monkfish on the menu this morning. You're using a coffee filter to cook it? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We've got fish on the menu. I've chosen monkfish for this dish, so we're going to griddle, griddle it and we're going to roast it in the oven. And monkfish is a cheap fish, but it's nice and meaty, and it'll stand up to all these like fantastic, robust flavours, what we've got in the dish. We're going to make a nice, fresh herb and olive, black olive uh, sauce, which is almost like a salsa, and this beautiful, creamy, lemony mash to go with it. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. Now it's back to you guys. Really great to have you with us in the cafe kitchen. And Mark, we are making a monkfish dish. You're making a bit of noise. You're excited, are you? Yeah, keen yeah. to get going. <laughs> okay. Um, why do you love this type of fish, by the way? Well, it's great because it's cheap mm -hmm. and it's really meaty. Okay, you good. Know, so you can roast it. You can, you know, you can you can give it high temperatures. You rest it. It's, it's like eating a piece of meat. You know, yeah. it's nice and juicy if you cook it right. And it uh, stands up to really good flavours, like strong flavours, like black olive, you know, chilli in there. It's great for Asian cooking as well. So, really versatile fish. OK, well, let's get going. What do we need to do? Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to give uh, a little bit of a season to the fish. Yes. Right, so I've got a little bit of salt in here. Yeah. And then I'm just going to zest some um, lemons. Yeah. And then I've got a little bit of rosemary. And then you're going to pound this. OK. Just to sort of flavour that salt. And then we're going to season the fish and just sort of let it sit for an hour or so, if you've got time, um, just to get some flavour into it. Right. There you go. Am I, am I pounding? Okay. <laughs> You're pounding. <laughs> okay. Like that? Yeah, enthusiastically. Enthi oh, okay. <laughs> That's going to be really annoying no, if you're going to explain what else we're doing. Rub it. Oh, okay, <laughs> sweet. Right, and then I've got some potatoes, so I've just peeled them, just cooking them over there in just some lightly salted water, and then we're going to finish that off a little bit later. We'll drain them, and then we've got a few different things to go in there. Okay. Right, and then we've got this... Uh, <laughs> you making so much noise. Sorry. <laughs> right, and then we've got uh, a black olive sauce, right? So it's more like a, a salsa. So I've got all these ingredients here. So I'm going to start chopping those, those up. OK, I'll so, get out of your way and just pound away okay. in the corner. <laughs> yeah, okay. just maybe go over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, so we've got um, so some herbs. So in isolation of herbs. So I've just got some parsley as well. So just uh, finally chop that. Use whatever herbs you've got growing in the garden. That's all fine. Just want a nice sort of herby kick just to balance out that um, black olive. And then I've got some basil as well. So basil's really nice and really fresh. We've got lemons in there, olives, basils, you know, great combinations. Especially when it comes up to this, you know, we are coming up to summer and we are, well, mm. hopefully going to get some good weather soon. And I, and I can smell all the fragrances already that we are using. This is going to make the monkfish taste so divine. Oh, definitely. You know, it's a, it's a really sort of exciting, fresh, uh, tasty dish. All right, so basil goes in there. Could you use, if you and didn't then, have monkfish, could you use something else? Well, I mean, you can use any fish. Right. You know, whatever you want, you know, especially if you go out and catch it, you know, use whatever you've got. Okay, good. But then if you've got, I mean, a snapper would be beautiful, but um, it's quite delicate and there's quite robust flavours there, so you probably lose it, you know. That, so you just got to be careful sometimes, but, you know, there's no reason why you can't. Right, celery in the heart of the, uh, break the celery in half and then you get the heart and you get these beautiful yellow leaves. So these are really nice, these are sort of like nice and sweet. Mm. A little bit softer than the celery, but I'm going to pop them in, mm. you know, because oh, so we were talking before and it's like, you know, didn't know it was in the centre, you know, what do you do with it? You know, you sort of, I don't know, you look at it and you go, hmm, no, it's not green, throw it away. But this is what you can do, you can put it in salads, really nice for salads, great in this sauce as well. So I'm going to chop that up as well. Yeah, it's got a really nice sweet taste to it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's just a bit more well, delicate. Celery can, you... Yes, celery can taste harsh if you're not into it, but... Oh, definitely, yes. definitely. Mm. Mm. Anyway, I'll keep mixing. <laughs> this is looking all right. You like that? I do. Right, and then so you, so you can have the fish, so pop some fish on the plate, and then yep. you can season it with this mix. So you can see it's, the rosemary's gone in there, the lemon's gone in there, and we're going to get some flavour on that Is that all right, though? Well. Is that yeah, what you yeah, want? No, that's good. That's OK, good. good. Yeah. OK, yeah. cool. So I'll just wash my hands quickly. Put the fish on. That goes in there. I've got a little bit of garlic and a little bit of chilli for the sauce as well, so we'll just chop that. And then I'm going to put some olive oil, so it's like a salsa in the sauce. And then we've got some vinegar, so we're going to use balsamic vinegar, and we're just going to do that to taste. So you want to keep trying it, and you want that nice balance, so you get the sweetness from the balsamic, but you get the, also the vinegar as well and the olive oil. Again, how much of this do you want on yeah, the fish? You can be quite liberal. Can, okay, cool. Yeah, so you sort of this is going to be sort of almost like a marinade. Oh, it smells incredible. That goes in there. Some olive oil, and then a little bit of balsamic, and I'm just going to put the juice of a lemon in as well. Squeeze all that in. OK, Chef, how's that looking good? You happy? Yeah, beautiful. Nice Very work. Good. What, have you got some underneath? No. I'm going to turn it over <laughs> while we take a break. We'll come back and show you how to do the rest of this very soon. Right, so the fish is marinating. Yes. We've got a griddle pan on, so that's nice and warm now. Yep. Potatoes, just drain them, yep. pop them back on the heat, and it's just going to take that excess water off. OK, there's right. a good tip for you. And then uh, another one of your favourite jobs, mash. mashing. OK, yes. I knew you were going to make me mash. Right, okay, so you're cool. going to start mashing that. Yeah, we're going to add anything um, to them or just mash them like this? Yeah, no, no, no. Lemon, 
potatoes. Ooh. Lemon mashed <clears throat> potatoes. Yeah, I'm okay. Now right, we're so <laughs> what do we need for that? <laughs> lemon? <laughs> yeah, exactly right. So we've got some lemon, so lemon juice. We've got some olive oil as well. Oh, yeah. So this is instead of putting butter in. Right, wow, you know, that's we're a gonna change. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah, I can't believe I'm doing it. Um, no, but we're going to put some olive oil in there as well, so that's going to give it a nice, fresh, um, zingy flavour. Okay. Works well with the uh, lemon juice. So we'll pop that in there. So just and have... keeps it a bit healthier as well, you know? You're going to use both? Yeah, yeah. okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this is where you get your moisture on to make it a nice, smooth mash. Yeah, that's it. And then I've just got a little bit of milk here. So okay. once, you, once you get it a little bit smoother, you can just add a little bit of milk just to loosen it to your sort of desired effect. Okay, cool. But you, you just remember, you want to sort of like a, a nice smooth mash, a mash, but you know, you want to be able to taste that olive oil, you want to be able to taste that lemon as well, you know? Okay. It doesn't want to be too milky. You're just using that for consistency. Right, just to finish the, uh, the sauce, I'm just going to roughly chop black olives and pop them through. And then we've got our pan on. Just going to pop a little bit of oil into the pan, make sure it's nice and hot, and then we're going to start cooking our fish. So just pop it in. So cooking it on the griddle pan, going across the lines. So we're going to get those nice seared marks, flip it over, same again. If the monkfish is quite thick, you will need to put it in the oven. Get the middle done. Yeah, yeah, because it is very meaty, you know. And treat it as a piece of meat as well. You can roast it high temperatures, take it out, let it rest for a minute or so. You know, just let it relax, it'll be nice and juicy. Okay, barbecue season coming up, so you can probably do this on the barbecue Yeah, too, exactly, a perfect fish for the barbecue because it holds together. Okay, these mashed potatoes, I think, are coming along okay. nicely. I don't know if I want to add any more milk to it, but you, you're the boss. What do you reckon? No, no, I think, I think that's good. I mean, it's entirely up to you. If you want it if you want it a little bit looser, you can add a little bit more milk. But just give it a taste first before you put too much milk in. Mm, that's good. You know, good. you can taste the olive oil. You can taste the lemon. It's nice and fresh. Yeah, it's quite loose. I think that's fine. A little okay, bit of salt in there. Cool. Mashing done. Fish cooking. All right, so fish is cooking, so we're getting a nice colour on that fish now. You know, you can leave it a little bit more if you want. Same on the other side. And then I've just got a little tray here. Pop it in a hot oven, though, probably about 180, 200 degrees. And then depending on the size of the fish, how long you want to cook it for. I would say we get a colour on this, maybe about five, six minutes in the oven, let it rest. Boom, and we're time to serve. Sauce is ready. Just got a little bit of rocket, which we're just going to dress, and then that is it. Brilliant. Okay, thank you so much, Mark. It's smelling fantastic, by the way. Thank you. But the mud <laughs> fish does. Well, right, I'm just going to plate up this beauty. So fish is on, the mash is on, a little bit of rocket on the side, and that beautiful olive salsa on the side. Fantastic, beautiful. It smells great. Fresh, oh. tasty, robust dish. Wow, nice yeah. work.